To find the inverse function value at eight here, you don't wanna find the inverse function at all. You'll be wasting time on your exam, so use this property for a shortcut. Remember that for the inverse function, if I give it a value of A, and that gives you an output called B, that's the same as saying that for the original function above, plugging in B for X would give you A. They're backwards, right? So all you gotta do for this problem is instead of wasting time trying to find the inverse function, take the value eight I gave you, and we know that we're trying to find the inverse function evaluated at eight. I'll give it an output that I'm going to call a constant B. And this means that for the original function, everywhere you see an X, we're gonna plug in that constant B, and we're gonna set the output to an eight. So now all we gotta do for this problem is find the value of B that makes F of X give you an output of eight. And then we're done. So when I plug an eight here for f of x, notice on the right now, I have a b wherever I had an x, and I'm gonna subtract eight on both sides, giving me this expression. Now, what's really cool here is, do you see how the first three terms start with a one, three, and three for their constants? Do you remember how for the binomial expansion for a cubic expression, looks like one, three, three, one? Well, we're close, right? But this 14 is a little bit of a problem. So I'm gonna rewrite the expression as plus one minus 15 instead. That way I can group these four terms and I can use a clever trick to then just factor that as a binomial expression has power of three. And then when you solve this, we need to find out what B is. And so I'm gonna add 15 to both sides, take the cubic root of both sides, and now we can easily see that B is simply this. And if you want a harder inverse function problem, check this one out. 